Let's see, so High Wang, Mole Knight or Plague Knight? <sighs> Both are really good. Like, I have a couple things to say about both, so I'm going to say Explodatorium, just because it has really good music. Okay. Is that Mole Knight? Oh, no, that is uh, Plague Knight. I was thinking Explosions Fire. Yeah, I like this stage a lot. This stage has a lot of cool inspirations. Like, you can see yeah. bits of Castlevania, bits of Mega Man 3. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing the Mega Man in this. Lots of Mega Man. Really, I see Castlevania based on the background, but when we get to the Mega Man point, I'll, let you, I'll certainly tell you guys. It's a little bit of both, <laughs> guys. Yeah, they took a lot of inspirations from, like, everything, which is neat because it doesn't feel like a carbon copy either. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about this. It takes inspiration, but makes it its own. It becomes it's, its, its own thing. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, the exploding oh, rats something... can't explode other rats when they explode? Nope. The stage is garbage! Ass. You missed a destroyable. <laughs> ah, I mean, ah. Destroyable? Oh, up there? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, trying not to, I'm trying not to backseat game. So. No, I appreciate uh, things I missed. I know in Treasure Knight stage especially I missed a lot of things because I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, there is one that I haven't gotten yet just because it requires you to be really good at aiming that crazy shell that flies around the level. Oh, that thing. In Treasure Knight stage? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it's an area where it looks like you could dig up, but you cannot. Nice. Also, just to make your life a little Sheep. bit easier, okay. um, you can hit the vials back that those birds drop. Oh, you can hit. Eat like a baseball? Well, it doesn't, like, hit them, but oh. it neutralizes the damage. Oh, man, that's so skillful. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Look at them <laughs> sick juggles. God damn. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Should have left it on the fire, then we'd have braised carrot. Let's see what we got here. Mm, did you just eat that fish? Mm -hmm. And turn it into $350? Gold dollars? Does that not happen to you when you eat fish? Not normally, no. Well, diabetes is a gold fish, so... Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Welcome back to Shovel Knight. <laughs> Can I go at the top here? No. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't quite judging the ground there. <clears throat> it happens. Yeah, this area has six checkpoints. You are going to need all of them. Yeah. Let's see, Mole Knight stage is quite a bit shorter, isn't it? I wouldn't say shorter. Like, it's roughly the same length. It just feels like it goes faster because it's not as uh, windy and uh, contorted as this area. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's fair. So I don't know if I I don't know if you like saw it last time, but there are a couple stages in this game that are where the music is made by one of the musicians from Mega Man Three, I think. Oh really? Unfortunately, Ooh. this stage isn't one of them. I think uh, Treasure Knight was the one. Oh, I need to go back. I can't remember the second one though. I do need to go back and do that stage again to get the stuff that I missed. Treasure Knight? Oh yeah, the like invisible. Oh. Uh, pathways and such. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What do, what counts towards your completion percentage? Everything. Um, health and magic upgrades, music, weapons, the works. Nice. Armor and... Uh... So literally mm. everything. Yeah. Um... Fucking rats, man. Yeah. Open up the screen. Yeah. yeah. Oops. So, Did does I... anyone in the chat have experience with this game for like the 3DS or the Wii U? Because that's probably what I would buy it for. Because hmm. I don't have a PC. I think a uh, psychedelic eyeball got it for the 3DS. So if you have them, if you want to ask them on Twitter, go for it. Yeah, I said this at the stream the other day, but it seems like a great game for uh, mobile. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. It seems very pick up and play. Yeah, very much so. Checkpoints for the most part in the game are pretty generous. Yes, yeah, kind of one chief complaint about the game is that there's too many checkpoints. Yeah. Well, that is probably designed with some mobile in mind, so. Yeah, but also keep in mind you can break checkpoints for extra uh, challenges. That's true. That's true. Which I'm not doing this time. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Uh, Smite was trying to get a speedrun going and I was practicing and I was thinking maybe I should break some checkpoints to get extra money. But nah. Did that race happen? Uh, not yet. I keep telling myself I should get a race going, but I'm kind of like, I'm still always like wary about my, about like real life stuff happening. Yeah. <clears throat> Races are really hard to commit to for some reason. Remember back in the day when you just played video games with your friends and it was no big deal? Yeah. Well, whatever happened to that, huh? happened. Oh yeah, I mentioned that there are a very huge Mega Man influence in this game. Welcome to Gemini slash Burst Man stage. Oh, uh, I can see that, yeah. Well, the first part of the level is kind of like that one in Mega Man 7. Oh, uh, Shade Man? Let's see. Yes. Funny enough, What's Shade it? Man stage is actually an homage to uh, Super Ghost and Goblins. Oh. I'm learning all over the place today. <laughs> Hello, my name is Highwing. I am video games. Welcome to <laughs> video games. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'm starting to get into the rhythm of things a little bit more here. Ah, uh, you, you missed it. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> they hide still... those passageways so well, I just don't see them. Yeah, that one is actually... I keep forgetting the uh, coin just because of that. That one is actually really, like, cleverly hidden. Just when I said I was getting into the rhythm. Oh, this stage is actually one that was made by the uh, Mega Man 3 devs. No, made by them? I mean, well, the music was. Oh, the music. Inspired. Somebody was saying that it was Propeller Knight, but, um... That one seems more like a Jake Kaufman style. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what to say about that one. You got distracted by all the flashing lights, it's cool. That's right. Those, Look at the pretty colors. Dad. Those beakers and vials are just trippy, man. Right. Let's see. <clears throat> Start taking advantage of my ranged powers. It's one thing in games like this, I always forget about the uh, powers that I have. Well, this game is interesting in the fact that it was designed for both relics and also designed to where you could play it without any upgrade whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, it fires. So, as, so at some point you just kind of like get into a groove and you're like, wait a minute, I have this overpowered item that I can use to right? kill from a distance. Whoa. Man, that slime almost wrecked you. All right. Oh boy. This is, oh. this is so stressful. Yeah, this is actually, I think, the hardest part of Plague Knight's level. Let's see, I, you know, I don't think I ever got that music thing. Just have to bounce off somebody over there and get up to the yeah, top. Yeah, you have to bounce off a crow Oops. to the top of the level, a la Mario. Yeah. Oh, it's probably that crow then. Okay. You could also um. Lure the mage to there and then bounce off him just to grab it. True, true. I think if you back up far enough, you could re respawn him, but uh, I think you're at the point of no return, unfortunately. Yeah. If I'm really into 100%, maybe I'll go back and. This boss is probably the funniest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> He sees, an <laughs> he sees his intruder and in what's his first thought? Root around through the uh, fridge. Time to change my anatomy, I guess. <laughs> Desperate times, man. Desperate measures. Oh, I don't think I ever saw him revert before. Real? Oh, you killed him too fast? I guess so. Yeah, I typically like to use the uh, chaos orb in this fight just because if you time it right, you can hit him multiple times. Mm, true. See again, I forget about all those sweet items. I thought the apples only recovered a little bit. I think it's about three. Nice. Learning new things all the time. Uh, oh yeah, um, I don't know if you know about this, but the, um, the fishing rod actually does damage. Oh. It does oh, a full circle. That seems extremely situational. <laughs> yeah, it does a full, like, circle of heart to anything, which is basically, like, two damage twice. When it goes down and when it goes up, it damages people, but remember, you're kind of just, you know, sitting there. 
That seems really strong because it seems like the shovel only does like half a circle. Yep. So, oh, I, but I guess it it's balanced by being hard to use. Yeah, because you have to pose, sit down, apply apply uh, anchor, wait a bit, press the button again to bring it back up. Then you got to pose again. <clears throat> the skilled player's weapon of choice, I see. Yes. All right, I'm going to take the safe way here. <laughs> I think everybody does that. <laughs> Where's our fishing rod? I'm getting Dark some Battletoads and Double Dragon vibes from this. I've never played a Battletoads and Double Dragon. It's the fifth stage of the game where you have... Or, yeah, the fifth stage where you have this kind of fire, intermittent fire jet situation. Yeah, I think I only played it for like 20 minutes as a kid. Then I saw like all the races in your LP and I'm like, LP of the uh, Battletoads series. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not beating that game. <laughs> it's fun though. It, is, it does look fun. Like it's definitely like very 90s, but I'm just sitting there like, I can't beat that. <laughs> what was the one with the fucking um, thing that chases you while you're on a motorcycle? That weird orb thing. Uh, oh, that's Clinger Winger? Yeah, that's Klinger regular Winger. battle toads. Yeah, I see Clinger Winger and I'm like, nope, 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 no, 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 I'm out. Yeah, that's that's fair. Perfectly fair. Also, one thing this game appreciates that uh, mm. one thing this game does that I appreciate, you can jump up a ladder and grab it. And grab what? You can just jump up a ladder and grab it. Huh. Like it's faster and it makes sense, and you don't really see a lot of video games do that nowadays. I guess oh, that's I see. <clears throat> simple things, simple things. All right. But then you can't appreciate that really just great animation for climbing ladders. <laughs> I've had enough of that while playing La Milana, thanks. <laughs> Come on, dude. get a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh, fine. That's not fun. <laughs> I think you could hit his vials back at him, but I'm not 100% sure because I never tried. Maybe the fish will give me a little recovery thing. Even though I don't really need it. I don't need anything, I'm so good at this. Wait, wait, wait. That's the spirit. Yeah, goldfish. Oh, somebody linked a Battletoads and Double Dragons LP, and I thought, wow, you did that one too? Uh, well, yeah, actually, with uh, Guido Anchovies, we did a oh, 2007 had, style yeah. LP thread. It was a part of that, not its own thing. Okay. Uh, excuse me, that has one E to your proofreading, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shovel Knight, more like White Knight. Because <laughs> who else talks like that? Come on. Oh, Plague Knight, you are the best boss and <laughs> probably the hardest one. I had the hardest time with the snow one. Really? Everybody Because of the instant death stuff. Yeah, everybody says, like, um, he's the hardest, but I never have a problem with him. I don't think I've ever died to him once. Well, but then good, again, good I have for fucking you. Guy. <laughs> but yeah, I had a pretty tough time with him, too. He's just such a spaz. Yeah, that's why I like him. He's not a knight at all. Somebody just decided to give him yeah. the knight status, even though he's just a nerd that enjoys uh, chemicals. And wearing Toucan and Sam masks. Nerds can be knights, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine a helmet with horn rimmed glasses. <laughs> uh, There's too much going on! You need, you need eye protection. <laughs> look, look at what he's throwing. I'm gonna have to use my recovery chalice in a second, I think. Also, it's funny because this and another level is like what makes this game hilarious to stream because then people have no idea what's going on because of the colors. <laughs> Like there, once you do the whole like screen, once he does the whole screen explosion, video encoders have no idea what to do. <laughs> Had to use my E tank. I'm a baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh wow, the actual stream looked pretty good when that happened. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the difficulty yeah, ramps up right around here. Oh, yeah. Compared to the early stages. 
Because in the stream the other day, I had a pretty easy time, relatively, but then... Not so much. I either. have a really hard time with a Spectre Knight. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was only, in my first playthrough, I think there was only one or two of the bosses that I didn't wind up needing the Recovery Chalice against. Hmm. Felt like such a noob. I guess video games really are for children, if I can't do it. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. so the money thing down here, I need something I don't have yet, right? Yeah, you need the, uh, <laughs> knuckle duster. That's, that's right. So, let's turn in my tunage. I always like how excited the, uh, bard is whenever <laughs> yeah. you come in. Right? And does he do that just the entire time from the moment you pick up the music to when you come back? I don't know. Because he's got to be in great shape. Does he have music radar? He's like, Oh, my dear friend Shovel Knight has picked up one of my tunes! Oh, yeah. Shovel Knight guy tunes, time to try out my plyometric some more. <laughs> I like the chat. Spectre Knight is a butt. <laughs> Let's see, so 7,000 bucks. Uh, let's see, what's his name has any new stuff for me? Probably the coin. The coin. Yep, the coin. Uh, Chester, you're the best. Why not? <clears throat> let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Got another C one. Minus. Croker, you dork. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> that one's pretty good. Yeah, that's, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Let's see, hmm. 3,500. Have you done the Vile? Have you done the Vile mini game? The Vile mini game? Oh, oh, the Vile. Yes, yes. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking Vile as in the Mega Man X character because I'm that guy. <laughs> Vile is. I, I'm kind of surprised at how like. Uh, well designed Vile is like. Yeah, Shelf and I totally ripped it off. Actually, yeah, there is a um, cheat code where you get the Vile uh, color motif for Shovel Knight. Oh, really? Hmm. Also, interesting thing, um, I believe Capcom released a, uh, like, a um, action figure model of Vile, and one of the accessories you could get with Vile is just a shot, is just a shot glass with whiskey. 